uh, we land at Vengurla, uh, we literally take the kayak up and throw it away and then we get into the car and then drive to where we are staying for the day and it was probably 30 minutes after we landed and we get this massive downpour so this huge storm just hits us and it rains for the rest of the afternoon and that's when we realized we just escaped almost uh, another calamity because if I had been hit by a storm while I was out and uh, it would be me and the safety boat we really don't know where that would have ended I think waking up in Vengorla I think was just the, the most brilliant feeling because now I think all of us had had figured out that there's just about 20 kilometers to go to Goa and we were just so super joyed that uh, the whole expedition was done and it, and it turned out so well uh, that um, everybody was up and about early in the morning and we get down to uh, the jetty at Vengorla and it was breathtaking because the, the clouds kind of parted and we had these rays of sunlight just coming down on, onto Vengorla and it was just the most picturesque setting to go out for the last day of your expedition. And paddling out that day, it was just beautiful because you're just there and then everything that, uh, that you see, you're just registering because now you're just almost uh, into Goa and you're just saying, okay, you know, am I there yet? And uh, you know, what, is, what are these rocks doing here? The day uh, we were supposed to cross over to Goa from Maharashtra, uh, we were all really excited and so I was following the whole thing on Google Maps and the moment he touched the border, um, I stopped him, I asked him to stop and then he, he kept asking me why it's not time yet for my energy bar. And I said, yeah, wait, but you've crossed it and we need to celebrate this moment. And then she opens a, a, a jug of I think orange juice and she's like congratulations because we've now crossed into Goan waters and I was just so so happy I was like wow that that's that's pretty sweet and uh, so so we're sitting here like and just having our orange juice and celebrating that we've now made it to Goa and I remember I think the the way that we celebrated was for the first time I took off all of my dry fits and all of this, uh, you know, rubbery material. And I just put on a regular cotton t-shirt and pulled out my new paddles. And uh, and I thought that was that was just that was just a beautiful way to celebrate. That day I was very angry with him because I wanted to be with him on the boat when he crossed from Maharashtra to go. And he said no. So I said okay, now there's no point. He's on the last. Now I will not say anything. Let him go ahead. But uh, then Chanjali called us, we were in the car. She said, we've crossed. We landed in Goa uh, about 30 minutes late, 30 minutes to an hour later. Uh, we decided to, to stop at Morjim, and which is a beach close to Panjim. And uh, again, coming into it, there, it was a little windy and wavy and obviously this being Goa now suddenly the beaches were really crowded and uh, and I remember coming in about from about 200-300 meters out uh, I was looking out and I could see my parents and they were waving at me furiously and I came into the beach and I crash landed another rogue wave just came and swept me off but the minute I got out of the kayak and I had my feet planted I was just like okay that is it I have literally just landed in Goa and I've now kayaked all the way from Bombay to here and it was just a surreal feeling, it was just so intense. Now though this was a really a, till today the biggest mission my son has achieved and uh, we, I as a father or we as a parent should be celebrating and congratulating him and all that, it is a you know, set idea. But I was more worried about the boat and the people managing it and all that. So even when he came last at Marjim Beach before going to Panjim proper, I, I even forgot to hug him and congratulate him for the mission successful. After 17 days, we'd covered about 413 kilometers and we'd effectively kayaked all the way from Bombay to Goa. And I think um, one of the first things we did was uh, prop the kayak up and just take it to my aunt's place and uh, and just just celebrate with uh, with family 
the second thing we did uh, was uh, to now send out press releases. So the next day, you know, um, we held a little, small little press conference, and I think everybody in Goa was just so, so, um, so amazing because we just went to the port authority there. And we said that okay, you know, this is what we've done, and you know, we just want to probably just have a group of people here. And they were like, yeah, why don't you use this place because it's it's ideal for you, and you could probably you know just take the kayak out. And this is Panjim, you know, so this is like the heart of the city, and uh, I'm sitting there right in the middle of these casinos, and and it, it was just it was just lovely.